Hey there weavers, welcome back. This is Grace with Tangled Webs Weaving and today I'm starting a new project that is my own design. It is a set of four napkins done in 10-2 cotton and it's a color and weave twill structure. Now I am doing this in a white and a dark blue. I've got it warped up on the loom and ready to weave. Now, if you would like to purchase a copy of this pattern to weave yourself, you can find it on my Etsy store. And if you go to the link that's up in the corner, you can uh, get 10% off using the code YouTube24. So let's get weaving. Okay, so here we are at the loom and I am going to be using a treadle tracker. So this is set up uh, to have uh, a straight draw here, a point draw here, and a straight draw here. These areas will have a color and weave uh, portion. Uh, these are just white stripes and will have a, a horizontal white stripe also. And then we will weave this in trump as writ, which basically really just means weave it. Uh, the treadling will be in the same sequence as the threading was. So I'm going to go ahead and start my treadle tracker here. And you can't see the tracker up here on my castle, uh, but I use iWeaveIt and on my iPad, and I really like it. I can design on it, and uh, I mostly bought it for the treadle tracking and the thread tracking. When you're threading, uh, it will track. But I've really found that the design features of it are very helpful. So we're going to start out uh, using just white and it's just a straight uh, one through eight treadling but it's not plain weave and this is threaded uh, 28 picks per or 28 ends per inch we're going to weave a 27 or 28 picks per inch we'll see how I do on that um, the first thing I'm going, I've got my header in here, the spread my warp. I just used uh, an 8-4 cotton. And then we're going to throw a couple picks of plain weave. And I will tuck my tail here. I do have floating selvage on this since it's a twill. And then we will go ahead and start in on our treadling. And we'll have to, we'll use this portion to make sure that we are um, getting a correct beat. I'm going to do seven repeats uh, with the white to be my hem allowance. Now I went back and forth on the hem allowance because for napkins I prefer a fringed napkin. Um, and here's a sample of what I mean by that. And so we could do this as a fringe napkin, or we could do it as a hemmed napkin. I'm going to go ahead and treadle it and weave it as if it was going to be a hemmed napkin. And then we'll, we'll see. 
I may change that. So that is, and was that right? Now I've lost track. I think that's correct. Let me count. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Um, I think that I might have gotten off track here. Talking and weaving sometimes don't uh, go together for me. Um, three. No, nope, that is right. Well, let's just double check. Okay, um, two, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to weave, tw um, since the pegs per inch is 27. I'm going to weave uh, 14 picks and then measure. Um, so that is a 12, 13, that if I can find my ruler. All right. So it's a little under a half an inch. So I didn't think I was beating very hard, but evidently I was. Um, so we will be a little softer. So because of how I have this threaded and the threading changes and then the treadling will change, we'll end up with, uh, see, one, two, three, uh, four, five, well, let's see, these two will be the same. So we'll end up with one, two, three, four different areas of patterning. So four different patterns. And that might not be beating quite enough. Okay, so that is 27. And I am right at an inch. So that is how soft I have to beat. It's kind of funny when you go back and forth between um, weaving something like this and then weaving uh, rugs because you have to beat so hard when you're beating rugs that it's hard to to go back and forth.
So I'm just kind of looking here to see if anything jumps out at me um, that might be a threading error. Um, these two look a little bit close together, but I, I think it's just because of the um, threading in the reed. So this is threaded at 28 ends per inch in a uh, 12 dent reed. So you have to weave it, or you have to slay it of uh, two, two, three to get that um, set. So once it's wet finished, it should <clears throat> even out. So at 54 picks, I should be at two inches. So there is 54. And, oh, okay, I'm at two and a half inches. Um, let's see, is that right? 27, 40, yeah, 54. Um, so, I need to uh, tighten up my beat a little bit. All right, good to know. All right, so now we will start our color and weave section. So we're going to do every other pick in uh, bl blue. So I'm going to start uh, with blue. We'll tuck our tail. And when you do this, you kind of have to figure out which thread goes under the other thread. Um, and then you get kind of a rhythm going. This one will go over. All right, that works. So you can start to see the patterning develop. When I weave this, I am going to make sure that whenever I am starting on a odd uh, treadle, I am using my blue thread. Even shuttles are white. When we get down to the next section, that will reverse and that will create a new pattern right here. See, 
I was on a one and I should have been using blue. So now we are going to switch to uh, white. And I'm only treadling eight picks of the white. Um, so even though the blue is um, going to kind of show along the edge here, uh, I'm just going to carry it up the side. Uh, I don't really want to cut it and um, tuck the tails and everything. So now we are going to reverse the treadling. So my last treadle was eight. So I'm going to uh, treadle seven and we're going to treadle this in a point treadling. So we'll do seven through one and then two through eight. And we're going to alternate the uh, shuttles again. take a minute to retrain my brain to go the right way. see how the different patterns um, up here. Uh, you've got this pattern, this pattern, this pattern, and this pattern. And that is the really cool part about the color and weave with different uh, point twelves. So we're going to go ahead and continue on and then uh, we'll create another white line here that will um, kind of box the whole thing.
Okay, so that is the last pick of the blue for this napkin. So we will cut that, tuck our tail, and then finish up with the white hem allowance. Okay, so that was the last pick of this towel. So now I will throw a couple uh, plain weave picks and we will start on the next one. Uh, so this warp should have four, uh, give us four napkins and then I will uh, take them off the loom, wet finish them and you can see and hem them and you can see how great they look. To hem, I fold the raw ends over about 5 eighths of an inch and press with a warm iron. I like to dog ear the corners so they don't stick out. Then I fold it over again to hide the raw edges and give it a hard press. I add a little tag and use Wonder Clips to hold the hem in place. Wonder Clips are the greatest for sewing, especially your handwoven items. Once I've got them all prepped, I take them over to the sewing machine using a walking foot to keep the layers from stretching unevenly, and a stiletto to hold everything down. I stitch close to the edge, removing the wonder clips as I go, and making sure everything stays aligned. I backstitch at the beginning and the end to keep everything secure, and clip the threads close. One final press, and then I fold them into quarters, and they're ready for use. If you'd like to purchase these napkins or the pattern to weave them yourself, head over to my Etsy shop. Use code YouTube24 for a discount. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. My next project is a silk and wool scarf from the January-February 2017 issue of Handwoven Magazine. I hope you'll join me for that one. Thanks for watching and happy weaving!